Hey, hey, I've got a Dutch star and also another star. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, RV nerd. Hey guys, uh, Chris Schopa here and Josh, the RV nerd from Bish's RV. And we are here to show you guys one of my last 2022 4081 Dutch stars. And I'm super excited because Josh started playing around inside. He was showing me how the toilet should work. Wait till you see what we do when we get inside this coach. It's so much fun, guys, and you're gonna love this. Check it out. What do you think, Josh? I, I, I'm thinking that this thing on a scale from one to yellow is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> He's right. He's not kidding. So follow me. Let's go inside. Let's check out some options. And maybe we even come back outside to see what we have going on. Let's go. And I'll tell you something I learned. I learned that moving around inside the RV and even driving the RV is smoother than this here grass. <laughs> I mean, it's not the day for it, but now, dude, you're right. That grass is terrible. It's terrible. Oh. <laughs> it jumps. Yeah, I swear it jumps up and gets you. <laughs> follow us, guys. After you. All right, guys, so we're inside the coach. Let's go over some of these options that just stand out specifically for the Dutch Star right out the gates. The lighter wood option for Neymar has been very, very popular in the last couple of years. So when we ordered this coach, we put the Glacier hardwood high gloss finish on all the wood in mind that all this wood on a Newmar is real wood. They cut it, they buff it, they sand it and paint it all at the Newmar factory in Napanee. Um, when we go down this true solid surface flooring, what I mean by solid surface is it's porcelain tile. The porcelain tile flooring allows you to really, hey Josh. Is that slide porcelain? It is. That's true porcelain solid surface flooring in here. the slide. <laughs> it is, it's, a, it's all, how do they make it all flush? It's a whole wall. It's a hydraulic slide. So that hydraulic lifts up and it actually rolls in. And the reason you have to have that hydraulic slide is because of that weight from the porcelain tile. That's amazing. I mean, that is, look, look, like, look at this. When you're actually sitting here, you're not, you're not teeter tottering. Like you, you don't have to like get, you know, the matchbook and shove it under one of the table. Like this is awesome. Let me tell you the reason too, that you can actually sit comfortably and everything's not moving all around is the star foundation. So the star foundation stands for strong, true and robust from Newmar. It's a rectangular foundation that they weld into the actual chassis. And then they build this box directly onto that chassis. So all the framing on here, your sidewalls are 16 inch on center framing, just like a house, hung walls, but they're three inches in thickness. So that three inches in thickness now, stay with me guys, allows you to put all of the insulation between that wall to maintain climate control, whether it's hot or cold on this unit. So it's pretty really nice residential quality options they put on here to allow you guys to enjoy this like it's your home away from home. And where Josh is at right now, what he's flipping open is their induction cooktop. So that induction cooktop is removable. Did you know that, Josh? I No, what? Check that out. No. So it just unplugs like you could you could take it outside, you something it. like that on a nice sunny day. You got it, 110 plugs. So this doesn't have any propane. No propane. That's cool. What's power in this thing? So you have eight AGM batteries on this coach. So they're not water batteries. So if it's in dry storage for a long time, you're not going to come back to dead batteries. You can fire it up. You can run the slides, all that. You, yeah, I would definitely still suggest uh, if you have the opportunity to plug this coach in, it's 50 amp cable. Leave it plugged in at that storage ground that you guys are at. And with a coach like this, it probably should be an enclosed covered storage. I, I don't think I would leave this one out for my Uncle Gary to get a hold of. No. And something I discovered is these things right here, uh, cutting boards? They are. They no. Are. How'd you do that? So there's a little button release actually hiding under the solid surface countertop in there. So that's the one thing a lot of our customers, especially at 40 feet, they feel like they're losing counter space <laughs> on a coach, but you're not. That's like an electric hatchback. Like, that's it. That's cool. Pretty nifty. Ooh, we got a huge owner's packet in here. Let me get one of the ones I can actually open. Now, let me show you where Josh is actually opening up drawers right now. A lot of folks like to option this out for the dishwasher option. Oh, you can put a dishwasher right in those three drawers. Okay. So now is it pre plumbed? If I want to do that after the fact, it is. That's good. Okay, okay, cool. So we've never interacted with one another on camera before. It feels like an infomercial. Like, Hey, Chris, <laughs> did you know? But this is something, if you ever want to trigger someone's OCD, sure. you just do one handle this way and one handle that way. Actually, I got a question for you folks at home. Uh, handles back, handles forward. Which one's the right way to go? 
So when you get into a residential coach like this, you typically are going to expect to see a residential refrigerator. The Whirlpool residential refrigerator, which is the standard option that you're going to get on the Dutch Star Series from Newmar, is an 18 cubic foot uh, refrigerator. It's got the ice maker, it's got the water up front. Ice maker is hiding inside of the freezer, however. So down here, you got a full-size residential tray ice maker. Um, so all my folks that have Jimmy Buffett life and you make your cocktails, that's where you get the ice. Josh, do you have cocktails? Do you have drinks at all? Um, I'm, uh, so you can't really see it because I, I keep it trimmed down, but I've got a lot of what you might call redneck DNA in me, see? <laughs> um, I grow a natural goatee, and this is a patchy neck beard. And then if uh, this, if I grew this out, I can't grow a mullet anymore, but I could grow a skullet a little bit here. The moment it hits my shoulders, it becomes an Alabama air conditioner. And unfortunately, I acquire the taste of just a simple cold Kurs Light. Um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking, though, you could fit quite a few in that fridge. Truth be told is he's right. You can fit a nice 12-pack of beer in there, and there's no problem. Don't have to have the nice fancy glasses of wine. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you have to run to the bathroom, though, you do have the half bath right in there. So that is a standard size residential bathroom. You got the toilet against the wall. So there's plenty of space to sit against that wall and use that commode with your left and right legs not feeling stuck in a corner. That upgraded lav bowl that the camera just passed through is also a bowl option for the Dutch Star that lets you to feel a little bit more elegant on the coach. It's one of those nice luxury features that you get in the motorhome. And then of course, the master's quarters king size bed this is a premier air mattress this is a mattress that has a actual uh, control setting to make each side of the bed level to your comfort of sleeping this is an option that we try to do on most of our dutch stars because we all know um, whoever you're sleeping next to they may just like it a little bit more firm or a little bit lighter so that option definitely helps and where josh is kind of like tinkering around in right now that is the master bathroom so why don't you go ahead and lead in there because he's actually checking out that that huge shower that is uh, let me ask you josh isn't it like a like a residential shower in there uh yeah actually this is nicer than the shower at my house uh it could also double as a sound studio um <laughs> But no, this, this shower head up here, I was just playing with, this is all adjustable and kind of having that sort of rain shower effect. That is cool. Um, you know, I can, <laughs> I can really get up there and scrub the scalp. But there's one thing in this bathroom I really wanted to show you guys. This has an incredible aeration system here. Um, if you notice, when you're here at the toilet, there's a very rare opportunity where what you can do is uh, you can pop this open and you can carry on a conversation with the neighbors, never miss a beat. Not to mention, you can feel it. I, I'm, I'm sure you can feel it on camera, the airflow that comes through. It's like, hey, how you doing, how you Chris? Doing? <laughs> <laughs> See, he's just passed me another cold Coors Light. But the, the fact is, what this is really doing for us, uh, all joking aside, is for years the RV industry has had a fire escape window. I don't even think you could get your dog out of that thing. Like, and if you do, you're dropping your dog 20 feet below, and it, you know no one's gonna win from this. So what we have here, it's an actual like escape hatch, escape door, where if you legitimately need to get out of this thing, you absolutely can. Um, and if you have time to set up the ladder, great. I think if your life depends on it, hopping out this door, maybe you jam an ankle, maybe you jam up a knee or something like that, but that's something a doctor can fix. Third degree burns or worse, eh, that, that could be a little more of a concern. So all joking aside, this is an amazing find right here. Not to mention just the general headroom in this thing. It's incredible because not only are the sidewalls about six foot nine tall, Chris. They're actually about eight foot, uh, one inch, two inch. Okay, maybe up to this vault right here, but the, the vaulted ceiling is, is incredible. And it's also an impeccable way to get to see uh, their craftsmanship, like radius work like this on all this hardwood trim. You just don't, you just don't find that every day. It takes a very skilled craftsman to put things like that together. And that's one of the things that actually really shocked me most about this. Those uh, sink cover inserts that we were looking at a few minutes ago. Um, those are all hand cut. They are so precise that you have to it, you, like jigsaw puzzle those things together. So they're not jiggle banging, vibrating down the road. Although, of course, under the sink, Mr. Chris could show you, you could also store just a ton of stuff down there. You do. Even those fascia tops, the solid surface countertops that cover the sink, that cover the cooktop, they have a little place for them to store them away. So you have a pull-out drawer, so just some extra items that you might want to store away in there, or those solid surface countertops, tuck away right to the side. 
Um, and they do have a little discreet place also for the garbage that a lot of coaches forget about. Need That's something I'm harping about all the time. Every RV I'm in, I'm looking for a place to put the trash can, a place to put my shoes. This has multiple places for all of the things. I'll tell you though, uh, Josh, the one thing I do complain about a little bit with this, guys, no offense, I, I know that this is a trash can, but I'd like to see a bigger trash can on these coaches. No, that's fair. Like you could put two of them, but you are still kind of Walmart bagging it. Just a bit. And you know, when you're in something like this, you even called it like residential coach. You're you're almost you have the expectation we're going to spend extended time in here. And you know, a little Walmart wastebasket. I don't know that it fully kind of cuts the mustard, but this no necker uh, can't even say it. No neck wrecker <laughs> entertainment center right here. That's the place to be. It is. And then if you guys want to just enjoy the ambiance, or you know, you're with the misses and you want to check out, you know, the Montana back set. That's a nice view right behind there. That's a large size window so, right behind the TV. So we were watching the Black Hole Abyss and now we're watching National Geographic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Hey guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me and Josh today. Um, if you guys are interested in this coach, by all means, uh, give me a shout. My email and my phone number is at the bottom and I would love to take you guys on a test drive. And who knows, uh, Josh may be popping in here and there. So I may not leave this thing. <laughs> you know, it is for sale. Uh, uh, can you keep me in the basement? Do I? Can I come with it? What do you guys think? My wife said she'd kick in the rest of the money if you take me with you. I mean, having this guy hanging around is not bad. I like this idea. <laughs> Thanks for the video, buddy. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, guys.